Hello again YouTube, this is A Woman's World 123. Today I want to discuss with you guys something that has been going on in the news for quite some time. So it's a little bit old, but I still want to discuss my point of view about what's going on. Largest oil cleanup fleet in history. On the water we can already see the oil affecting wildlife. Turtles swimming through slicks in search of food. Birds coated with oil. Fishermen worried about how they'll survive. BP and the oil spill, is it real or is it just a figment of our imagination or the people that are involved pulling the wool over our eyes? Anyway, BP wants us to believe that they are a reputable company of the future and they see past dependence of fossil fuels. This coming years after making their beyond petroleum self-proclaimed name to fame. In 2010, BP is having their single most largest disaster to date. However, it goes beyond BP's claim to the point that for years they've been professing go green. Yet in 2006, their green campaign overemphasized their true investments in the area of alternative forms of energy in comparison to their foregoing use of fossil fuels and its investments. Listen up. BP has a long history of lies and deceit as well as disasters that correspond with their ignoring all major laws and safety guidelines. Because of this, BP has allegedly paid approximately $485 million in fines in the U.S. alone. But this is pocket change to BP as they are a multi-billion dollar corporation. All this proves is that BP is willing to skip the formalities and pay the fines rather than fix the problems, spare innocent lives, and simply abide by those safety regulations specifically put in place as protocol. It is important for us to, to be aware that they also um, had a multi-million pound payout to Colombian farmers alleging that the construction of their pipeline caused severe environmental damage to their lands. The actions of BP in this situation may have very well forced these farmers into lives of destitution and later on poverty. But as long as BP is making money, who cares, right? As long as everyone involved is getting rich, who cares? The track record of BP proves that they are not a very responsible company. And their even longer history of problems, fines, legal issues along um, that line gives way to the most recent man-made disaster on April 20th, 2010 in the Gulf of New Mexico. But never mind that BP has taken full responsibility for the response or lack thereof after this disaster, but fails to take responsibility for the problems that subsequently led to the Deep Horizon disaster. Okay, maybe we're asking them for too much. They're cleaning up the mess, right? However, there is still the possibility of a conspiracy which is deeply believed by many to be more of a reality than a myth in theory. The website that I'm going to put below sheds light on the possibility that there is a conspiracy theory and it says that the disaster is only smoke and mirrors, an illusion of the sort perpetrated by the government, Bit Corporations, BP, Halliburton, Goldman Sachs, and others. This subsequently unfounded and unproven theory may be why our beaches were held hostage by private security contractors patrolling them, preventing any form of gathering of information or news. They all saw the reason why the news reporters and media were unable to gather or get accurate reports from anyone involved. This could also explain why boats and other water vessels were unable to get approximately within five miles of the location of the disaster and why the Gulf of New Mexico at the time was a no-fly zone. BP and its counterparts controlled every aspect of this event from beginning to end, only allowing in and out what they deemed unthreatening to them. How can this be in this day and age that one company has so much power they control every aspect of a situation of this magnitude? Several YouTubers have aired videos explaining opinions of professional and non-professional -prof observers, scientists, engineers, and environmentalists on why some of the information was misguided and why the video footage differed from day to day. Also, why BP, who proclaimed to have had nothing to hide, only gave enough information to pacify the American people. This conspiracy theory states that 
The leaking well is man-made, and it's a well bore or asphalt volcano, and not that of BP Deep Horizon, but is that of a surrounding well leaking by design on purpose for whatever reason. This theory also makes generalizations of how BP will shut down the well by neutralizing that pressure, that same pressure that we've seen, somehow. Then the oil will be no more. Presto magico. So they would like for us to believe. Now my questions are, is this really an asphalt volcano? Did BP start this leak on purpose? And who stands to gain from it? Is BP serious about alternative resources or is there way too much money in fossil fuel? What are the long-term effects of this oil spill? Will BP uncap this well in the future and blame the new spill on depressurizing? And did Obama do enough in the wake of this disaster? Finally, is the Gulf oil spill really a scam filled with smoke and mirror related illusions perpetrated by all involved on this unsuspected American people? As the aftermath of this disaster rolls on, why can't we, the people, on behalf of the environment, the ecosystem, the land and sea animals, as well as ourselves, get any real answers to the thousands of questions about the oil spill and BP's real involvement?